according to my Guruji. Practice contributes only 5% or even less towards our spiritual progress. More than 90%, 95% of our spiritual growth depends on our attitude towards the practice. Whenever I used to practice meditation in my early days as a student in third year of pharmacy college, first thing most of our friends used to do was come together in one room, make tea and then sit together and meditate. After we finished our meditation, then we would take bath. Because of the inconvenience in hostel life, water. But if you have the opportunity of taking bath earlier, it's better to keep a physical body clean and neat. Then you meditate. It will be better for us. If we can do some breathing exercise before this meditation, it will be even better. According to my Guruji, practice contributes only 5% or even less towards our spiritual progress. More than 90%, 95% of our spiritual growth depends on our attitude towards the practice. So there is a practice element and there is attitude element associated with our practice. What do we understand by attitude or simply put in Hindi, bhava? Let us see, I give you one small example. If you are told one month ahead of time that PM Sri Modi ji is coming to your home, what would you do? Or the principal of your college is visiting your home with a lot of joy for you stood first in the university. <clears throat> the preparations for that whole month will go on with a lot of excitement and joy. Per contra, let us see a, a person announces whom you don't like at all. Someone is coming to your home whom you don't like, how would you receive that person? I'll share with you a small joke, but it's very important when expressing our attitude towards people we welcome. There was one very happy family living in one small city, husband and wife. One day, those days, they received a telegram. The husband is very happy, received a telegram, mother is coming. And with such a joy, he goes to his wife and says, mommy is coming home, he is so happy. But then his wife is very disturbed. He goes to railway station, brings mother home, but it's not mother, it's mother-in-law actually. And when he knocks the door and wife opens, Oh, mommy, mommy, why didn't you tell me you are coming? So I'd send you telegram. The husband also says, I already told you, mommy is coming. So this is the matter of attitude. See? If mother was to come, you will cook good food. If mother-in-law is coming, your attitude is different. So how do we receive God in our heart? Is it with a lot of love? Or is it something that you are doing out of fear? Almost all the religions, they teach only two things. One is the fear and temptation for heaven. Okay, if you do this ritual few times a day or a few times a month, then 
you might go to heaven swarg mein jaoge the only two things religion is expert with in gujarati <coughs> we have a beautiful bhajan and it invokes the presence of lord krishna it's inviting lord krishna in such a way that my lord please come to my home just once i'll make you forget your vaikunth with such attitude when we practice the conditions that we get through meditations it's like a new birth it can become a new birth each time we meditate we can become a newer person each time we meditate because there's a new condition being born again and again again and again that is continuous transformation if i am going to remain the same person all the time then i remain stuck i am not evolving for a greater evolution there has to be continuous change in my consciousness in my with my chetna with my chit and new conditions cannot born unless and until we become so receptive with rightful attitude <laughs>